Bobtail searching for SA's next top dog. Get the unique code on pack and send in a picture of your best friend. Welcome back to Expresso here on SABC3. Now today marks Take Your Dog to Work Day and it was first celebrated in 1999 by Pet Sitters International and it was created to celebrate the great companions that dogs make and also to encourage their adoption from humane societies, animal shelters and breed rescue clubs. And this morning we have Dr. Jimmy Simmons, Director of Happiness Is and Veterinarian for the Happy Animal Clinic uh, with us to give us a bit more info on this very special day. Jimmy, good morning. Welcome. How are you? Morning. Good. Thank you. That's it. So very special day. Day. Take your dog to work day and as you can see it's a Bob's life here on Express so he's every day here at work but let's talk a bit about the meaning of, of this of this day what does it mean exactly for the guys out there it's really a celebration of uh, the human animal bond in this case the dogs the dogs that we share our lives with but looking at um, how that relationship is extremely beneficial in uh, many human contexts and in this case the work context. Yeah. It has an um, enormous number of spin-offs. A lot of it now is research-based, looking at the benefits of having animals, a close uh, a relationship, working relationship with animals. Mm. And in the working environment, that could be anything from uh, reducing stress in the workplace to increasing creativity. That's <laughs> incredible. So if you have a very creative dog, you say that you are a very creative job. I mean, you know, if you take your dog, you can, you can actually do your work better. Well, there's, there's a very close link to being, uh, between being very relaxed uh, and being playful or creative. It's yeah. impossible to be creative when you're all stressed out. And many work environments, very disconnected from nature, yeah. very disconnected from uh, an environment where you can drop your defenses and actually relax and then be inspired, mm. dogs can facilitate that process. Interesting fact that I've also heard is just by <laughs> stroking a dog, you can actually lower your blood pressure. Yeah, so there's a whole category of uh, dogs uh, in, a, in the workplace being used as uh, therapy dogs. Pet-assisted therapy is what it's referred mm. to. And uh, a lot of research to show that just by having a dog with you, uh, somebody who is petting a dog, their blood pressure drops, Incredible. their well-being, um, various yeah. measures of their well-being improve. Mm. <clears throat> so let's talk a bit about some environments. I mean, what jobs would really give a good environment to be able to bring your dog to work? There's two factors really. It's the environment as well as the dog's personality. Um, the idea is to try and match the dog to the environment. So what we don't want is a whole lot of dogs that are unsuited for a particular workplace to mm. be taken in there. So it might be the dog that's very aggressive, very over the top, very hyper, mm. and is a disturbance in the workplace. Mm. Or there might be one that's extremely timid and with a very busy workplace might be overwhelmed. Exactly. So you need to be aware of choosing a dog that's been well socialized, that's familiar with that sort of environment, that can fit in mm. well. Just, just like Bob, look at just it. Like you know, Bob. Very, very calm, <laughs> cool, collected, you're on espresso. And if, <clears throat> if, your, if your boss allows you to, and if it is a suitable environment as well, what tips can you give the guys out there you know, in terms of taking their dog, maybe food, water? I think the most important, the basic needs are obviously going to be food, water, and a secure, safe, uh, quiet uh, um, place to rest. Mm. And then its toileting needs is going to need to be able to take it out uh, for a walk, for a wee and a poo somewhere two or three times a day. Um, and then company, if, if uh, the dog is a, a very mm. sociable dog and the work environment is very um, quiet and perhaps not much, not many things going on, make sure it's got the social needs uh, for the mm. company that it needs. That's it. But first up, get <coughs> permission from your boss to take your dog to work, correct? Phone them this morning. And say, <laughs> Today's take your dog to work day. Can That's I bring it. my dog? Exactly. Yeah. Jimmy, thank you so much, man. Okay. Look at Bob. You, you, you really got away with animals right there. <coughs> <laughs> so get that permission from your boss. If you can, take your dog to work day. It can really add to how you're feeling and how you approach this Friday morning. Guys, stay tuned with us and we'll be back right after the break and also take a look at this because Bob Till is still looking for SA's next top dog and it could be yours. Bob Till's looking for SA's next top dog to be a face of their brand. Up for Grabs is a starring role for your dog in Bob Till's next billboard campaign as well as an interview with you and your dog on Expresso and a two-night stay at the 12 Apostle Spa and Hotel for you and your winning dog. To enter, simply upload a picture of your dog doing something amazing onto Bobtail's website and enter the unique promotional code found on promotional packs of Bobtail. Like their page on Facebook to be kept up to date with the competition and stay tuned to Expresso for weekly sneak peeks of the competition and help Bobtail choose SA's next top dog. Bobtail for strong South African dogs. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.